Welcome back to Tech TV here in Austin. I'm Ben Wadecki, and I'm really pleased to be joined by Chirag Patel, Director of Product Management at Global Star. Chirag, how's it going? Wonderful, it's a great day to be out here. Weather is fantastic and couldn't be uh, better. Wonderful, it's, <laughs> we're so great to have you here. So we're talking about disruptive technologies and things like this. Um, so we're going to start things off with how do you see te disruptive technologies, things like Edge, AI, and, and ML, revolutionizing things in satellite uh, IoT? Uh, that's a fantastic topic, right? I mean, when you talk about Edge AI in itself, normally people associate that with the likes of you know, images, cameras, and such to kind of say, how can I uh, do some sort of ML modeling in the back end, push it out to the edge, and then understand whether the picture is from a dog, wolf, or something else, mm -hmm. right? But now, how do you take that information and use it from a satellite perspective, especially in IoT and Edge AI itself? Uh, what we have created is a product that enables that, right? We don't have as such any AI technology, but we enable AI with the edge compute itself. Uh, how can people use it? Uh, this is where creativity kind of comes in from your standpoint, but yet at the same time, some of the things that we think of, right? From a satellite perspective, you do not transmit gobs and gobs of data. You do not transmit a lot of data because satellite does not and cannot send lots of data in a form factor of an IoT device. From that perspective, what you could do is say, for example, if you have temperature. Temperature, you're monitoring of a certain particular asset or information every second or every minute, whatever the case is. You're not going to send that data all the way back to your back end because it's just not efficient. What you do in that case, you create your edge AI model, characterize when and where should I send that information and why. You do that at the edge and with our ST150 product line, we effectively enable you to do that, create that model, put it on the device itself, where then you could send smart data. Instead of sending every one second, you monitor it for a period of time, and that one byte of information once a day or once every other day is what makes that enable Edge AI itself. So Churik, I'm interested to find out what industries are you know, in line to benefit the most from satellite IoT and, and that combination of Edge computing. From the industry perspective, the two key ones that we think of would be uh, any sort of uh, industrial assets in remote location, right? So any remote location would be an example of mining, mm -hmm. uh, for example, or some sort of uh, energy uh, utilis uh, utilities itself, where you're monitoring this particular asset in a remote location where every time you have a person go out in a truck, it costs you a lot of money and not just to say they may be late before a disaster could happen, right? So that's where a lot of that edge AI kind of comes into play where you could create your models, put it out of the edge, and then transmit relevant information only uh, to make sure you're sending the right information or you can control that remotely as well. So on that, there's a lot of different industries that that could be applied to, but I'm interested sure. to find out what the benefits are um, that Globestar brings when it comes to things like the, your realm entertainment, uh, realm and Enablement. Uh, let, me, let me just say that on the top, don't worry. So Chirag, on that, I'm interested to find out what the benefits are from, from the Global Star perspective in terms of what you guys bring from the Realm Enablement Suite. Yeah, so Realm Enablement Suite is an awesome thing, right? That we have just, uh, we, I believe it's the next, or the cutting edge technology that we have just brought to the forefront. How is that so? Um, when you think about an IoT application, you have multiple things that you have to kind of take care of in the sense you have the, chipset, the modem, the device, the module, and everything else, then you kind of take that over the connectivity layer and then to the backend side itself. When you look at most technologies out there, everything is disparate. There is not a single company that provides that end-to-end. -end. Now, they could create end-to-end -end solutions for you, but at Global Star, the Realm Enablement Suite does just that for our customers, right? We have the device and the module where the module can be customized with your Edge AI application on it. So you don't have to build your own module. All you do is write some software, the Edge AI application itself, embed that. We provide the platform, the uh, GitHub repository. It's open source that you could effectively configure what application do you want to be on that Edge device for your purpose build. Take that information, send it through a network, and on the back end side, the Realm portion of it, right? Seamlessly translate and takes care of the data, security, and everything else managing your devices from an end-to-end -end perspective. So all your information that you get from the edge, that gets reconverted on the application side, and as a customer, all you care for is to say, how do I take the data from an API perspective, build my application, and provide the value add to the customer. So on that, how is it going to benefit GlobalStar clients? GlobalStar clients, 
every time you look at a client, um, client's main product is what they care for, whether if it's looking for operational efficiency, uh, remote tracking, management, so on and so forth. Our customers are looking for not to be experts in IoT, right? And that's the key part that everyone misses, right? Our customers have their own business that they're trying to run, not be an IoT expert. How do we enable them from a cost efficiency standpoint, uh, performance, management, maintenance of all of these assets without having to know about how this thing works? Mm -hmm. That's where Global Stars Realm on MMM Suites provides that information to the customers at ease. So I've got one final question for you, Chirac. How is Realm driving efficiency for developers? Because ultimately these are the ones that are going to be enabling these solutions and building these. And, and how does it bring unique capabilities to an otherwise you know, wide tool set? Sure, so from a developer standpoint, whenever a project kind of goes through, let's say for example, I am a refrigerator maker and I need to track and monitor the refrigerator because it's a attached to a truck or trailer that's carrying, whether if it's pharmaceuticals or food and uh, drugs or something like that, right? My expertise is that. When I think about it, if they have to go create the solution, they have to kind of think about, okay, which chipset do I use? Which modem do I use? Which satellite or network technology do I use to transmit all that data? What the Realm Edge application suite does is it creates, uh, it has all this stuff built in for you. All you have to do is take this module, write your code in. So now you're saving your hardware development time. Hundreds of hours of hardware development time. Certification time of the hardware on the particular network. Deployment of that. Maintenance management. This is like you know hundreds if not thousands of man hours and resources today are scarce. I mean how many times have you heard like people can't find software engineers or firmware engineers or hardware engineers, right? So the Realm application and the device, the Edge device itself is built for you. You don't have to do anything, all you have to do is find a guy to write the software. That's one as opposed to 10 or 50. <laughs> all the certifications and stuff is taken care for you. Right, so you don't have to worry about product certification through the network. The beauty of the satellite technology is it's global. I don't have to certify my product in every different country for it to work. Because it's our own network, own technology, and it's globally available, right? Once I have this product, customers can take it, write their purpose-built application, and they're ready to deploy. It's as easy as that. I look forward to seeing an action because by the sound of things, it sounds like it's going to make a lot of people's lives that little bit easier. Chirac, thank you so much for your time. It's been a pleasure. Thank All you. All right. Thank you. Thank you.